Welcome back, everyone, to Angers Sud, France. We're here for the final of the Baker's Doubles competition here in the 2020 edition of the Cubica AMF Bowling Promotion Cup. I'm Bruce Hall, and I'll be your commentator for the international version of these matches. And as we said, this is the last of our four doubles matches in the doubles event. And our teams are going to be featuring the undefeated French team of Alexandra Lopez and Valentine Saulnier against World Team 2, consisting of Daria Payok from Poland and Matthew Magro from Malta. And it will be Matthew kicking things off here. We are on a fairly high-scoring pattern, as you saw. We're on the neon pattern. And we've seen some impressive scores in the first three matches of this competition with Matthew starting things off coming up a little bit light. Um, in our first match, we saw France go front nine and scoring 271 to 201 against the World Team 1 team. And then in match two, the French team came from behind to beat World Team 2, which is the matchup we see here. French team won that matchup 245 to 214. And our most recent match, and there's a chop by Matthew. No luck there. That's why a lot of people like to go straight at those spares, although not so much maybe in house conditions. But watch this ball just cut right left and chop off the two pin off the five. A tough break for World Team, World Team 2 kicking things off here. And here is our first look at Alexandra Lopez in this match. Now watch the fine form of this young lady. She is deadly accurate. Look at how solid she is at the line. And up to the pocket. And that's what she's been doing this entire competition. I think I've seen her miss once in all of her matches. She is remarkable. Nice and straight. Everything in the right place. Turns up. Blows the rack. Gets the job done. Very nice shot there by Alexandra. And then we saw... Daria Payok and Matthew go the front eight for a 280, 268, 186 win over World Team 1. So here we are with the undefeated French team against the 1-1 uh, one one, World Team 2 team. And here's our first look at Valentin. Watch the release on this young man. And look at the revs on that ball. Comes up, kick the 10 out, and give France the double. Very good start there for the French team. And we're going to give them the front two with Matthew starting off with a spare for World Team 2. And here's our first look at Daria Payok. And watch the release on Daria, PWBA star. One title on the PWBA. I'm sure she's looking forward to that competition starting up soon. Gets it a little bit right, but it comes back for dead flush. Great shot there by Daria. And now on to Matthew to lead us into the third frame. And Daria's a little deeper than she's been in some of the other matches. That crossed about 17, it looked like. And we are on this 12 to 1 neon pattern. 24.76 mils, 43 feet, fairly long pattern. But it has been a bit beaten up um, through, the, through the competition. And there's a mixer strike for... Matthew, and he must have made a little bit of a move there because he didn't get caught up in the oil. Yeah, he gets that one a little further right than his last one, catches some dry, and gets it to come back. And let's give World Team 2 a double and tying up the match. Excuse me, their 12-pin deficit because of that open, that chop in the first frame. And here's Alexandra looking to extend the French lead. And dead flush in the pocket. That's just what she does. Another great shot by Alexandra. And again, watch how everything is just straight in line. Straight through the shot. Maybe got around that one on a little bit of the side, but just beautiful. And I, as I said, I mean, she, her, her shots, you could lay them over one another and they'd all look the same. Compared to the just pretty much the raw power of Valentin, who is able to get quite a bit further left. Uh take that axiom that he's throwing and pretty much overpower the lane. Valentin is age 23. He's been six years a member of the French national team. And the coach of the French team, Patrice Saradale, I'm sure is here. And, ooh, a little bit light for Valentin. Uncharacteristic, but give him 
the 210 split. You can see he gets it in a little bit. I think you're seeing a little bit of carry down there. Doesn't quite get the recovery on the back. He needed that ball a little further right, catch a little friction. And now he's got the very difficult 210 split. Let's see if he can get over to the left side of the two pin and slide it over. And this would give World Team 2 a chance to jump right back in this match. And of course, Daria will be next up. So I'd like her chances to extend the World Team 2 streak to three. And a fairly straight shot gets it over to the left of the two pin, but not quite enough. Good effort there, but unfortunately the open frame. It's gonna bring them back to back to Earth. And if Daria can strike here, this would give World Team Two a three pin lead. You can see her. Line up, hold that ball low. She doesn't want to get it too fast down the lane. And beautiful release. Got her hand around that one and give her the smash. Seven, no. Wonderful shot there by Daria as she's made so many times in this competition. Let's watch this one. Carbon copy of the last shot. Just a tad high and leaves that smash. Seven, oh. Between that one and the flush eight, a uh, couple of uh, legitimate taps there. So definitely no luck there for the World Team 2 team. And she's going to go straight at the spare, looks like, with that plastic ball. And no, tr no trouble there. Unfortunately, uh, it's going to leave them in a hole. And here's Matthew. Can he get back on track? So eight pin match now with World Team 2 in arrears to the undefeated French team. Matthew Magro, the youngest of our competitors, age 18, he's throwing a storm all road. He was uh, four years on the Malta youth team and give him the Paralyzer 5 and the Mixer 7. And that's two different, fairly disappointing ways to leave the seven pin right there. As we said, Matthew was on the Malta youth team for four years and now on the Malta adult team. And he's the youngest bowler ever in Malta to shoot 300. And he's got youth scoring records in both three and six games. And give him the spare on the seven pin. And that's going to give them a nine pin deficit right now. And let's see what the French team can do here. Alexandra Lopez, age 24, throwing a Roto-Grip Idol Pro. Ball I've had a lot of success with. Love that ball. Again, French national team member. Same coach as Valentin, Patrice Saradel. And in the pocket, flush. Just automatic with Alexandra. She just doesn't miss. And look at that release. I mean, that's almost symbolic of the uh, uh, some of the best lady players I've seen. I wonder if uh, Alexander's thinking about coming over here and trying the PWBA Tour. I would love to see that in the U.S. And here's Valentin. Let's see if he can get France to extend their lead. They have a nine-pin lead now. Can extend to 19 with the strike here. Can he get a little further right? He came up light last time, if you recall. Not this time. Dead flush. As you saw in the opening montage, these teams can strike. You can see a lot of uh, a lot of wonderful balls just going right through the pocket the right way. And look at how he gets those fingers underneath the ball and on the inside of his thumb. So Valentin has a wonderful release position. If you're looking for power, uh, there it is. Daria now. 19 pins in arrears. Let's see if they can get out of this seven pin rut they've had for the last two frames. Another good shot gets it out to the dry. No question about that strike. And Matthew, very important shot here to stay in this match. Once again, Daria right over 17. She's splitting boards there. Another great shot. 
such wonderful form. What I like about Matthew is uh, he pulls his arm across his, his, his face to his target. Watch this. He gets that thing right to his target. Uh, remind, and beautiful shot there by Matthew. And uh, similar to Ryan Simonelli on the left, if you look at Ryan, he really, really gets behind one. He really pulls that arm right across his uh, right across his face when he makes his shot. But that's a double, very important double for the world team to stay in this match. <coughs> Here's Alexandra. I would bet my bottom dollar she'll hit the pocket here. Question is, can she extend? The French lead once again. And yes, one more time for Alexandra. Like a machine. Wonderful shot there. And once again, let's hold this up to the last 20 shots she's made. <laughs> they all look the same. She looks so good. And now can Valentine once again, we're at a 19-pin match here. And France with just the one miss, with Valentine coming in light for the 210 in the fourth frame. Other than that, he's been dead flush in the pocket. Let's see what he does here. And clean through the shot. Oh, you could tell. He got all of that one. Wonderful shot. At the line, everybody looks so pure, throwing the ball so well. And really through that one, he—it looks like he even moved a little left on that, got a little deeper, got a little more revs on it. So good move there. And now Daria, can she answer? And Daria fiddling with her face mask. The traditional—this um, is a very standard uh, protocol for. For face masks, you keep your mask on in the settee area. You can take it down when you're making your shot. And got through that one pretty clean. A little bit right, and I think she caught a little bit too much dry. Might have been a little fast through the shot. And that's a very difficult two, four, six, seven. And watch it cut right through the heart. She knew she got a little bit slow. I think she was playing with her face mask there. I think... I think she's going to really wish she had that shot back. Switches over to the Global 900 volatility that she's been throwing. That's her strike ball. And she's going to try to get the ball to the right of the three pin and slide it over to the other two. And it's almost a must make at this point. There's a chance. Oh, Lord, really? Oh, wow. What a great attempt. Watch the three pin. Oh, this is just not right. When you get it out that far, you get, catch the three pin. Normally, that's an automatic spare. But she goes six and then two. So tragedy for the for the world team, too. Very important for Matthew to get back on track here. And he does. But nonetheless, I think the damage is pretty much done here. I'm just figuring out the scores here. And somewhere in the 50-pin advantage range is France. So France is cruising at this point. And Alexandra, one more time. This will be her last shot of the match because Valentine will finish it off. And once again, this is the final of this Baker doubles. The winners are the champions. And why not finish it off? And I think it's going to be French team and pretty much a cakewalk here. Unfortunately, that tragic eighth frame by Daria uh, put the world team two in an unrecoverable deficit. But a wonderful showing by all these teams here. And once again, uh, shout out to Bruno Badone, who's the producer of these matches. I know Bruno just put out some advertising for the 2021 matches. If you're interested in participating, check out the Facebook page, Facebook page Bowling Promotion. And uh, just puts on some wonderful competition in some beautiful places through, uh, through the French region in there and European region. There's another 210. It's not going to matter. 
a little bit light. You can see you get it in a little bit. There's so much oil in the middle that if you pull it a little bit, the ball tends to skid down through the lane, doesn't pick up. So you have to get it out to the dry. Of course, the alternative to that is what happened to Daria. You get it out to the dry and it's too slow and it overreacts. So that's why wet dry conditions can be challenging. The nice thing is to have a... Um, and this time he makes it. Wow, icing on the cake there for Valentin. Beautiful shot on the 210. Watch this. Straight at it. Throwing a strike ball. No hook. And just makes it without any drama at all. And now the crowd getting into it on this victory lap by Valentin and Alexandra, who will take this competition pretty much going away. They were... They had one come from behind victory over World Team 2 in this first match of these two teams. And there's a switch to a different ball for Valentin. And how about a nice 244 for the French team. And the most that our friends from World Team 2 can do now is 209, I believe. And let's see if Daria can finish things off in style. Looks like she went to something a little shinier. It also looks like a volatility. Maybe it's got a little more push through the front, maybe. Let's see. Gets it to the right. And how about a ring 10 for Daria? And we'll just go through the motions here and pick up the spare and crown France as the winner of this Baker team, Baker doubles team competition. There's a lot more, lot more action coming on this channel. And there'll be some singles matches coming up. And again, we'll have international versions of all those matches. And again, my name is Bruce Hall. It's my pleasure to be calling the international version of these matches. And we will see you back soon on this YouTube channel. And there's a beautiful dead flush strike there by Daria. And let's give Team France the victory. Congratulations to Alexandra and Valentin. And we will see you all back here for some more exciting matches on Bowling Promotion.